When you use Zapier, you can automate away tasks that used to take up your time and focus. To do that, you need to create a Zap. That's our word for automated workflows that connect a few different apps together. And I'm gonna show you how to create your very first Zap. First things first, click on Make a Zap, which will bring you to our editor. This is where you get to build and tinker and automate and ultimately save yourself from tedious tasks. Before you start creating, it's good to have an idea of what you wanna automate. For me, I'll be connecting SurveyMonkey and Gmail so that instead of watching out for new survey responses and manually sending a follow-up email, Zapier will just do it for me. Now we have to select our first application, the one that will trigger and start the Zap. That's going to be SurveyMonkey, which I can search for here. Then I need to select my trigger, which is a new entry. Next, we need to connect my SurveyMonkey account to Zapier. Once that's connected, I just find the form I want Zapier to monitor. We can pull in a sample too and take a quick look. This shows us the data that SurveyMonkey is sending to Zapier. It looks good to me, so let's add our second step, Gmail. I want to send a new email, so I'll select that action and then connect my Gmail account. Now we can start mapping fields from the first step to the email template. When I click on the field button, that gives me access to the data from SurveyMonkey or any previous step. I want to grab the email address here, and when I write the body of the email, I'll grab the respondent's name as well to give it a personal touch. Now we can test this action. When I test it, Zapier will actually perform the action, which in this case means Zapier will send the email. It's been successful, so let's take a look at my inbox to see it. There's the new email, automatically sent by Zapier for each new person who responds to my survey. Now it's your turn to give this a try. You can add more steps and complexity as you need to. For example, you could even add a Slack step after this Gmail step to notify your team that a new response came in. Personally, I recommend jumping into the editor and creating Zaps. It's the best way to get accustomed to Zapier, and once you learn the basics, you can start exploring and saving yourself more and more time.